Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. What is happening folks? It's Tyler Bees and welcome to another Stanley Cup Conference Finals on EA Sports. I am here with Roy Cruz and this matchup we're ready to see how this happens. That is right. As we got a great matches in between us, also we've got the Dallas Stars and you're facing on against the Vancouver Canucks. It is a rematch as we're ready to see this one prepare for its next matchup. The next commentary I have is Boomer and he's also along with the other commentators in between. And that's right in between of those two, between the test two, and finally we have it in the third commentary in front of the center of the zone. I got a great one to take over, and this will be the first commentary that will be all you know for Terry Crews. And finally, Nichols is in a center ice. Without further ado, we will see you later for the post game show after this game is finished, and we're about to be seeing what's going on of how they will play for. Now, let's get into their business. Guys, all yours. See you later, everybody. It's game time. Boomer here, and I am here with my broadcasting partner with Test 2 and Terry. This is NHL, coverage of the Stanley Cup Conference Finals on EA Sports. We are ready to start in Vancouver, and let's get it going for the leadoff for 3-2. Let's start with what it is right now, as we have a couple of events in between an American and the Canadian team. As we're ready to bring things on, we have one of the biggest matchups in between of Tatra Demko and Jay Gominger. Here's a start. Ice in and a shot. Off the goal post, and this one stays out and cleared by Hovlander. You know how close it is right now. I mean, I was seeing that before. That one was no joke. This one was ticking everywhere about that, and that one was ringing it off the post that quickly. Yeah, that was a little bit too close to call out there. Wow. We're ready for our next face off. 9 13, 19 13 to go in the start. And it's still set in between of the Stars and Canucks. That's things we'll hand it over again to Robertson. Robertson is right toward the other side of the zone. Gives a shot. This one misses that wide. The rebound puts it in. Now Goose will have a chance over now finding Suter. Suter on his way down right toward, toward the left wing. Makes his way. Patterson. Shot. Stuck by Ottinger. And Ottinger will have to whistle it out and get ready for the next face off. Lots of time up in this period. Still looking for a first goal in Game 5 in the playoffs of the Conference Finals. Has the women played in for Dallas. Here's DeLandria. DeLandria makes his way. A shot one time again for an end stop by Dr. Demko. As now he puts it over to Freeman. Freeman trying to make his way down or right, toward the other wing. Here's a chance now. Miller shoots it. That's saved here by Jake Ottinger. Nankaba will now have it the other way. And give it over again now, back again to Duchesne. Here's a take with the shot. Stop again by Tatra Dimko. Now he rolls the airway way to Mikheyev. Mikheyev making his way through. On the shot, stop made here by Oninger. You know, easier to say that was to be Jake Oninger. The better one is energizing, he's going to have to stop and play it right at the right target. That better one takes in, it's not always easy enough, but you got to make sure you have that one at the right time and you get through. Not always easy enough, but that's what the goaltenders are making that one a lot harder than percentage. Pretty easy enough for sure. I mean, I was really consuming of how this is going to happen. They're taking the blind hole. Shot stop made here by Ottinger. And now he rolls over the back again. Takes another chance. Goal post up and out. Jules Shoots. Scores. First goal for the Vancouver Canucks in game five. That will be Joseph's first one of the night in game five. Now that Joseph had a lot in it out of the between. Right for the goaltender, this was a lot of chances out there. And got a little bit of separation with the rhythm. And hey, between the goaltender reaction, this is what happens right now if he makes that one with a miss. 
Look it up, start things off. One nothing over the Dallas Stars. Is this one that turns to be a great start of it for a Canadian team to get up ahead? Pavelski lost that puck. Now he rolls it over to get Pavelski. Finds it again against. Hans lost that one. Miss Demko will try to kill her out. Robinson now finds a shot. Stop by Demko. Nearing the midway mark of the period as we're getting right to her to closing the mark of the 15 minute mark. Still looking for a goal to take a chance here for Dallas Stars. But great effort here, 1 0. As of right now, the Lego's team wins the faceoff. Jules will now hand it over to Guinness Edelman. The door off now finding Jules. Jules making his way down and again to Popolsen. Popolsen right over with a shot, stopped by Ellinger. 16 14 left to go in the first period of the game. Now with the chance, here's Nicole. Jake Ottinger has one of an energizer ability that gets taken all in every single direction. The better chance is that when the energizer gets to the steering wheel, it's a hard one to maintain it on its way. The better it is to take here, guys. It's all for Ottinger to keep that one on a chance effort and put some stop in on a better take. Demko makes a save. You know an easier way happens right now. And you know what? Zadorov is trying to let Demko make a lot of a save, but this wasn't easy enough to get through it. And no chance. Stop! Good play by Anijo. 15.44 left to go in the first period of the game. Officers are ready to drop the puck, and we are underway in Vancouver. Finn is the mascot for the Vancouver Canucks. Having fun out there, looking to see if their team gets it from the lead. Now here's Stankovic. Stankovic, right to the right wing. Broken up the play. Rebound by Suter. Suter to Stankovic. Lost that one. Here's Ovender. Makes a whip. And Suter, Suter will have an air whip. Give the pass to Ben. Ben. Shoots! And another stop made here by Demko. The door off the back of the airway. Now trying to give a little bit more room. Get pass off to Juleson. Juleson. Shoots it! Big save by Onijar. Nothing but the save now, but that was happening for Jake Hottinger to put up a release bit. They're making this one a little bit of a chance to take that score in between. They have nowhere to go, and they have to do it. They're clean. And there's a goal. That puck test goes back in toward the net. As Jamie Ben puts up a goal. Yeah, that is an error. I think that happened with the dim killing. Watch what happens. You see what he does? He just tried to give it over. He said, wait, I was not in there. I wasn't even ready. But that one turns it over, and this is what's the most common mistake. That's what because of the fact that has been really getting a little disappointment out there. Can't start it off like that. So the Stars wins the faceoff, and they are tied up with one and one. You know, I don't play like, it doesn't play like they all do it the right way. And this is what nobody has been trying to do. Get that struggle in there, and this is what no one is trying to get that one back out of here. I mean, it's a little bit of a whoops. That's not going to play really well. Here's Markman now finding Miller. Miller with the puck seal. Now the airway will have it up here on the other side. Now on the chance. High skinner with the puck seal. Marchman lost that puck, and Hughes will have it the airway. Right toward the left wing. All hard again with the pass as Marchman takes the puck seal. He's up in the wing. Try to get the pass over to Andrea. Shot stopped by Demko. 13.39 left to go in the first period of the game. We're getting closer to the midway marker period. Officers are ready to drop the puck. Both teams are tied up now. It is a 1 1 game. Now the win will put it in as Lindell will have it over. Fires it! That's saved by Demko. Robertson swings it! That misses wide and this one goes back and over and we make the rebound back to Robertson. He scores! Off and a goal post and it went in and net. Well, that's what happens. That snipe just put it in there that quickly. They don't really take a chance effort now to get that back in. You know, firing the rocket was not always out stopping because that really makes a snipe in a long range that this wasn't really too long though. That one just made that one clear. Just try to blind the goaltender and that's what happens. He made that one clearly in. A better chance ever for now as the Stars have their answers up. They have a 2-1 lead over Vancouver. While the Canucks are trying to make an answer back right now, let's find out if they do. 
Loses the puck effort. This is Elsie Hassel. Bad stop again by Tachi Demko. Suter on his way down right toward the left wing. Lindell takes the puck. Now Robertson will have it the airway with 13 minutes to go. Off to Gens. Hit shoots. Blocker stuck made by Tachi Demko. Ogornik with the puck seal. Dude, taking his own time. Now trying to make his way across in the middle. Third feed saved up here by Ottinger. And now this one will get it over now to Jason Robertson. Dallas maintaining possession. Looks his way. The pass over is broken up. Suter trying to grab the fucking rebound. And Robertson will have it back. The pass now to Lindell. Lindell up and off the face mask. It goes right back again to Robertson. The warning now finds it again to Hughes. Hughes has it over now, finding it again to Hoglander. Hoglander to Patterson. In toward the middle. Oh, what a chance save on a goaltender. Pavelski. Back to Ankapa. Ankapa right over toward the left wing. On to the right side. Here's the shade. Saved by Demko. Demko's going to hold that smidgen puck with 11.39 to go. Now their teams are ready to drop the puck. It is a 2 1 game, Dallas Lee. Miller wins the faceoff. A speedrun will have a Vieira way now with the spin move. He will now have to take his own chance back to McKay. McKay, right toward the middle. Fires a shot. Off the pass, saved here by Jake Ottinger. Ice get in now, finding the shade, and he now finds Harley. Harley takes his way down over to get the march back. 11-10 to go in the first period. He now tries to make his way in. On a chance with the line drop shot. For a rebound, he scores! Mason Marchman with the first goal. As he takes his way down, it's a 3-1 game. That's what they could call it for the goaltender. But that's what happened to Mason Marchman. He was trying to let that one get in there. As for Delangia, had that bad stop. But he didn't really recover at all because the basement Mason Marchman had that puck away. And this one was given a wrap it around, and then this one went right in tipping a net. That one was changed over, and that didn't really care at all to get that one stoppable. The Stars extend the lead up by two, with 11.04 to go in the first. Now as Duchesne wins the face off, here's Heiskanen. 11 minutes to spare in the first period. And Freeman will have it the air away. No penalty on Dallas as Duchesne will have it over Heiskanen. Redirected as Freeman will have it the air away. Now he's off to Mikhailov. Mikhailov went right over into the wing. Lose that puck as Duchesne will have that one steal. Pass again as it's back to Mikhailov. Turning his way down, trying to deep the puck out of the zone. And this is why. Miller with the rebound. Off again to Cole. Cole again to Besser. Friedman. Near in the middle. That's a pat stop made by Ottinger. We shame, and we finally passed the midway marker period in the first. High skin in. Back to Duchesne. Here's a chance. Save on a play by Demko. The Canucks are spinning their way down into the star zone. Ice can end with the buck seat. Back to Ben. Ben. Chance for a shot. Saved by Demko. Demko's going to hang a whistle here with under nearing a 931. Now they're ready to drop the puck. It is a 3 1 game, Dallas Lee. Vancouver wins the faceoff. Aurora trying to get the puck out of here as Blue Brewer is making his way through. Now Hughes will have a chance over to Lindholm. Little. Big kick! That's a big smash down. Oh boy! On Queen Hughes, I was really there to see what was going to happen. That one was a bigger hit. I've never seen this going to go like that, but that is like, gonna, that's going to be a hard time roughness get. No one's going to stop that. Still saved by Ottinger. You know, that's what happened to Ottinger because that big kick was pretty in for Vancouver Canucks. That's not going to happen with that. Here's a chance now for Benderson and Robertson as Nicholas stands by. Both guys have a better chance in between. Right in between the Patterson, he has a longer snipe in the zone. And for Jason Robertson, the same thing. They both have on the in-between of the zone there, and with them with the great snipe ability, they have a longer range to get that shot down. I have the great range of in between, but there might be one 
that can try to like handle it all. And we'll find out who will have it here. Back to you. Demko makes a stop. 8.31 to go in the first period of the game. And a chance now for Tatcha Demko. Tatcha Demko, the light work of his wrist shot, shot ability that makes a save. He has a lot of a great percentages of how he may hit at a handle. The better way it has happened because Tatcha Demko has it all. Covering it in with a lot of wild saves in between. Offenses are ready to drop the puck. 3-1 to score for Dallas Stars. And the win will play it in for Dallas. Lindell shoots. Well saved by Dunco. A lot of full pressure coming on here for Dallas Stars as Vancouver Canucks are trying to find an answer back. And the win will play it in. Ankapar. Redirect it near the side of the net, and they're trying to battle it out. Suter trying to grab it back. Hints with the buck seal. Chance at play! Both the way to get a bunny dump cut. And Hughes will have it out over again to Patterson. They leave their collect zone out into the star zone. Dallas playing in possession. Robertson. Mike Torty in the middle into the slot. Hints with a shot. Chance! Almost went tipped in. Great save by Tatu Demko. You know, that's a little bit trouble over there for Tatu Demko, but he's still holding on great. Got to play it for real. That's the way we'll put it in. Here's a chance. Block of stuff right here by Tatu Demko. Early. Here's it over now with the laundry. Duchesne. Chance to play. That's one stop by Demko. 7.20 to go in the first period in game five, and we're ready to have an air face off. Teams are ready to make the next change up. Offered on our way in, and here's another chance here for Tatcha Demko's team. As the bear FCP will have it over in the door. Looks it off to Zagora. And a chance to play! One time effort stays out. The verdict. And a chance! Unable to blank that move. Two times stopped by Audi Jones. You know, that's not going to change it anyway. That one time effort was broken up the chain by the defensive men. They're not playing anything like that. You know, it doesn't really make that change of it really helpful, but you don't have a lot of them to try to like, keep it out. That's for what happens. Because of that, Nepco making their save up with ability, they've got to try to figure something else out. We need to do some a little bit of a quick change outs to get there. As the Canucks wins the face off, here's Adora. A chance to play! Stop by Oninger. Oh, what a great chance at for now. But that one was certainly to be a nice, great save. Good reaction there for Oninger. Gotta play it for real. They're gonna let that change up for a bigger moment to get there through. Everybody's been attacking. They've gotta try to like stop them as they can get there quickly. And it's right now against wins the face off. Robertson with the recovery of the puck as Miller will try to give off back to Mikheyev. Mikheyev right over into the wing. Shot! Stopped by Ottinger. 6 or 6 to go in the first period. 3 1. And for a moment of right now, we have a great way to make that one changeable in between the, the last part of the game as we've seen the Colorado and the Calgary Flames back in NHL 22. This one was not always easy enough, but the play of what was happening back in Game 6, they were really are trying to change things up a bit, a longer way. Yes, longer way happens to be all that what they are expecting to. I know what happens. They play really hard, but all I need to do is they really just try to keep that one going in there, but there was no chance of how that happened with the Calgary Flames. They always miss their playoffs so many times, but they never really have done it a lot. And the better range is, They've got to do some a little bit of a quick change off, and if because of Vancouver Canucks, they always let their uh, Calgary Flames win the whole thing. And into the conference finals, it wasn't really easy enough to take that one away. And I know it doesn't change that one, but let them make it perfect, let them do it right. That's what they have to do for most of it. Better games out of that. Calgary Flames always play it really well. But the first, Colorado Avalanche, they've already won two games at at home, and then 
their next home game. They are they lost in the road game against the Calgary Flames in games three and four. Man, game five happened to be that, and then game six they clutched it as the Colorado Avalanche moved their way to the Conference Series Stanley Cup Finals, and this was not easy at all. They got to play it in for real, and this was a lot of communication in there. Playing in the between, not always possible enough. But let's hope there is a chance here for Dallas or Vancouver. Johnson shot stopped by Demko. What a wild save this is, and now it backs to Harona. Vancouver got the airway. And there's a stop made here by Anijar. Suda. Chance in front. Oh, somehow he just comes up like a quiver on it and keeps it off in. Now the teams are set, ready for the next face-off. Dallas up again by two, with 3.46 to go. Edison wins the face-off. Block the shot. Dude, with over chance, no deflection, this one stayed up. Ogunder with a great puck steal. Dude, with a reflection, Pedersen. Try to rebound it. A lot of battling in the range here for the Canucks on the stars. Steel will clear the puck out. Off to Heiskanen. With the shot, blocked up by Hughes. And it's Pedersen back the other way. Give it again to Holbendorf. Hughes it to Hughes. Hughes it quickly to Pedersen. Can't keep the control effort with the puck, and he goes right back again to the Stars. As Heisman now finds again to Smith. Smith dumps the puck out into the Canucks zone. And Julesen is over now to Zadorov. Rockholsky now trying to give it over now, back to Julesen. And now he moves into the little hole. 2 on 1 opportunity! Save here by Adi Jar. Harley's got that puck, now finally you get an ice connect off to Fosco. Wilson's way! The pack stuff made here by Demko. Here he comes, shot stop again by Adi Jar. Just two minutes remaining in the first period. 3 1 to score. Now they're off and ready to do this again. Still looking for a close game in the first. Now the women play in. Zadora, champ on the open look, and this one is redirected and went off and redirected right from the wall back to Robinson. Yeah, that control happened already. That defender must have took him down, and then with that one, he lost his control with the bounce. They should have called that one a penalty. Vancouver's a little bit upset right now, but they need to try to like find someone else that can try to challenge that play and make that one a dirty move. They really are expecting. They're smashing everywhere on the ring in Canada. There is no question of how this is happening, but they can't be playing it. Uh-oh, it looks like we have a man down already. I think this is not going to happen like that. Yeah, this is really bad. We have a timeout on the rink as Jason Robertson making his way to medical room. You know, that was what happened right now. That one like a sweep on the move of it, and this is when Robertson has been frustrating it already. They're bringing a head coach right now, and he's in a locker room. Well, sure enough, uh, he is being in a speedy recovery, and with all of the appreciation, the song goes to respective teams, and we appreciate too the ball and support. Got to play some smoking out there. I mean, playing it for real, and that's what happens for the Stars. Got to play for real. He scores! Quinn Hughes with the goal! Here we got a woman in mark. They are back down on York. Can't lose the effort. Quinn Hughes got a great wraparound piece. You know it's excellent for Quinn Hughes. Made that slick move, got that cut. That's what happens with the seeking eye in this movement. And this one just made that one a fire blast by passing the goaltender. It's great enough to have that one, but that's what you play for. Keep it big. Pass down the minute, Marcus Kings wins the faceoff. It's Lindell have it in, and they go offside. Now they're off to do an hour faceoff. They are down by one. It's a 3 2 game. Gates wins the faceoff, the bell speed, dropping in by, as Hughes will have the puck over, now playing again, to the right to the finding Barone. Barone, right over it again, into the left wing, a big smackdown, and it's rebounding again here by Lindell, 
Lafferty with the buck steal. Great chance effort, but Ottinger makes another save. Marchman now finds over to Lindell. Hits back the arrow way. Smashes it out with a cross in and with 15 seconds left. Finding the recipe. Lost the puck. Now it's back the arrow way. Here's Kitts. Kitts for a chance. Stops it down. And a shot. Pat saved by Dimko. Ivelski for another chance. This one stopped. And that ends the sec first period in game five. Three twos to score. Quinn Hughes trying to answer it quickly. And we'll get right to the second period when we come back after this. Welcome back as we're ready to get started for the second period of the conference finals in game five. It has been an easy one right now so far and we are ready to get this thing underway to get started at Rogers Arena. Right now I have a great takes in between the videos two. Let's see what your takes are in between the view, test two, and toe. Well, playing it for real wasn't really happening. Vancouver Canucks are really up and tightening on the defensive of the team. They really can't be stopping at that point that they really are going really that far. And that playing it was not always easy enough to have that in there. That's because the quick user was trying to let the team get right into the close matches. Not turning it easier enough, you can't let that play out there at all. And I know they are. Because Dallas Stars are really like trying to like show them up. They don't really play it like that. Just like Edmonton Oilers, they are really are expecting it that they would try to stop someone and they can't let that go by. That's what they don't do. They don't play it like that. That's what they don't really try to trust on them. Now on a start ready for the face-off for the second period. Three twos to score as we think it's the face-off. Blocks a shot. Hughes takes it over back to McKay. McKay right toward the right wing. Fires it. Stop by Ottinger. 18.45 left to go in the second. And we're ready to have a next face up right in between the two to get back in the action. The face off win for Vancouver. Vassar lost that one as Ben will try to have it out in the other way. He mops that down. Vassar now finding use again to McKay. McKayev now it's quickly right over into the right wing. Gives it over to Hughes. Hughes took a one for the chance to tie. Stop again by Oninger. Stengelman will now have it over the airway. Makes a big hit. Vassar now finds it over. Dumps that puck out. And Harley will have a chance at for now. Makes a big hit. Wow, what a takedown here for McKayev. Chance in front. It's broken up on the play here by Stengelman. Take a bit right over with a two on two. Fastback shot, stopped by Demko. Demko's gonna hold that spigot and he will get ready for the next face off coming up. Now they're ready to do the next face off. Looking for a chance to tie this game, 3 2. And we will put it in for Vancouver. Cole will now have it again to Freeman. Freeman has it lost out as Duche with the puck seal. And Demko will now have it again to Freeman. Backing over to Lindholm. Looks it over to Andrea. We'll have that puck seal. And now here's Marchman. Dallas Stars will fire that puck out again. Up in the way, now back to Cole. Here's another chance here for Lindholm to call it. Up and over to Lindholm. Safe play by Ottinger. Now he's rolling it over again to Garland. Garland lost that puck as Lindell will have it the airway. Lindell with the puck recovery. Now he rolls over off to Marchman. Marchman lost that one as Cole takes it over back to Garland. Rolling in the zone, he fires that one puck deep. Here's another takeover, as the deep pass gives it off to Steele. Steele, works his way across, Duche, going for Steele, saved up by Demko. 15.53 left to go in the second period, still trying to get a close one. Now the officials are ready to drop the puck, 3-2, still the score. 
Now the move for for Dallas. And shot stopped by Debco. Now they're off to do it again. Off to the next face up. Fires a shot. Great block on the chance effort. Denev back the other way. And now he goes over to Smith. Smith. Back it over to Steele. Steele. Right toward the corner. Gives it off to Fosca. Chance in play. Hopefully there takes some puck steal. Obender on a 2 on 1 chance. Off the stick it goes by Oninger. Pedersen. Never chance in fifth play. But we're now finding Suter. Suter to center off. It's a door out block that shot as Steele takes it over. Steele on his way. This one is up. And a pass goes out again by Demko. Obender. Now in the right way. Pedersen. And it's up. It's goes. Holmander ties the game. Three, three, one. Play is not a retire. Holmander's got a great one and the puck is flying. He skipped out of that idea. Not a chance for the perfect save by Holmander. And that one gets it away. You know, that reaction didn't really happen at all. That one was just off that bat and he was flipping out. And this one was better than it. He could just find that puck. That one was the guy. It's out of here, and yeah, it's in the net. Both teams are tied up right now. It's a 3-3 game. Cooper and Dallas. Not much. Everybody does now because the GOC was making a great pass off right now. That one is really like turned to be a little unbelievable moment out there. We don't really have to make it aggressive about. But the moment that they're really doing that. A lot of attackings, and the better position is to keep that one in there. And right now, Juicy, he's adding another goal. His better time percentage, he's doing it correctly. Getting it through, better take. Rewarded now finds Pekaya. Pekaya shot, no deflection here to take the lead. Here's Stapleman. Lost the puck, it's a vertical now finding over down, down, in the other way. Ollie grabs that puck out off of the uh, offender stick. And here's Ben. Right toward the corner. First goal of the night here in game five. Finding Johnston. Over to try to stop by Devko as he grabs onto the puck with 13.36 to go. We're nearing down the midway mark of the period. They're all tied up. And the way we'll play it in. Now he will try to wrap things over back and finding Pavelski. Hits back to Pavelski. Pavelski finds more dead. Shot and saved by Demko. Demko's going to stop that one here with only 13.22 to go in the first in a second of the period. Now the next win will be Vancouver. And he now has it over to Lindholm. Get another takeover, it's Garland. Garland moves now over now. Over to make the pass. Octopop with the puck seal. He, he fingles it around the, around the board at the end. Now gives it off to Garland. Garland. That's Lindell will have it with the puck seal and Marchman will now have it off to Hintz. And Gintz trying to make the fast wheels. Chance in play. Stopped by Demko. He gives it off back to Garland. You know, everyone's been calling that one out there. I mean, you saw that one coming. That one was really going to pick up a big save out there. He knew he had to do that right. He passed over now to Gintz with the saucer pass. Into the left wing. Brian's going to go in the middle, and Demko makes another big save. Freeman. Has it now over to get a cold and back to Lindholm. Vancouver and Dallas up. Over their shot. This one's chopped up and it's Lindell with the puck back again to Fatsa. Fatsa with the puck over in. In the middle, save and play here by Tempo. Suter. How's that one with the puck? Now in. Back into the Dallas up. Patterson. Chance for the lead. Save on the pad kick here by Omniger. Mankopan now has it over back to Steele. 
Steel to the left wing. No penalty calling on the Vancouver. And this one will go right back again to Patterson. And this one will be it. And he is down. I am betting that this is Hoglander's end of the night. But hopefully this will be returned for game six. Yeah, I mean, he's already hurt. I mean, he couldn't just get back up already. I mean, he's off. And we got another one down. First, we saw Robertson. And now, Hoglander, he's in. Right now, a chance here for to recover up for next game to keep an eye on. And speaking of which one right now, I have this Mitchell standing by for Jason Robertson. Thanks, guys. I'm just talking to one of the, uh, at this moment, Jason Robertson, he told me one of his medical, our condition has always been broken me. I couldn't play that one hard, man. But it seemed like it's a little way off right now, and, and this one felt me uncomfortable. That play was not even emotional to keep it in there. But that one was really hard, and like, keep that one right on it. And it was with Joe Pavelski, he's trying to answer it up. But that one didn't really care about all that happened to be, to be him on the better of his inbounding. That had to be here and done it quickly as he can. Now he's a little bit shaken up already, and this will be like all for the next game. We'll have to do even better to get right back into it. But it's not going to be hard enough to like stub it in now. Everybody's got to do it the right way. And for Jason Robertson, he'll be back here for game six. Keep an eye on it. I'll be watching on here for Hoglander, and I'll have a next update, guys. All right, thank you so much, Jimmy Paul. We can have lost that puck, and now it's Lundria. That's the midway mark of the period in the second. High skin, and now finds again to Duchesne. Duchesne right toward the left wing. Lost the effort. Duchesne. Chance for play! Saved by Demko. 9.38 to go in his second period. And now with a quick update, I have it over again to Holbender as Nickel stands by. Alright, thank you so much. A little bit quick on this one here. Holbender was right, really like already wounded up and this one was recovering but the space was happening. That medical has been also another clear responder and this one was not turning to be an excellent way for Holbender to try and like keep that one in there. And for the end of the game, he will have to try to like find out like, what his question will be in the sixth game to get right into it. Not trying to be an easier way to have everyone try to like step it up. But when he hit that one hard, he had a little bit uncomfortable to play it that way. And therefore, he's in now, he's out for the night, and he'll be back for game number six, back in Dallas. I'll find out if Ogunder will be, will be okay to get right into it. Well, we wish you for a speedy recovery to get through it. Back to you, Gore. All right, thank you so much right now. We always give a background to Ogunder on his favorite play night. So yeah, I definitely have to feel like now. I mean, all that chemical and stuff, that's what happened with this, with this generation. They all have to play in for real. Definitely what they're all expecting now. I mean, that's what they can't usually do it for. Yeah, I mean, nothing happens now. I mean, you don't want to leave it out, you can't play it like you did. Chance of a shot, stop by Demko. Demko's going to hold on to that puck with just only 8 or 1 to go in, the, in a second. Now they're ready for the next face-off. Still looking for our leadoff score. It is a tie game. And on its way down, trying to give over to Freeman with a Vancouver win on the face-off. In front, stopped by Ottinger, and the puck slips out, and this one gets back to Linda. Johnson with the puck. 7.30 to go in the second. Fires that out. Vancouver got their puck in transition, now gets it deep over to Lindholm. Lindholm takes a whack, and now finds Garland. Garland now finds it to get a ball close game. Moving around, Henkerpo with the puck steal, now finding Stapleville. Dallas Stars playing in the att attacking zone. The deep pass to Sudo. Oh, here's a chance for the lead. This one doesn't able to bite that out. Just an ebb, will clear it out. That's Freeman with covers that puck. Still playing hard right now, as now this one gets back again to Sudor. Spins it across, now finds Johnson, and get back to Marchman. Marchman right toward the middle. Streaks! And this one just went redirected. Fires it shot! Locked it away, and it's Sudor. Gives it over again, trying to make his way across, sprinting in speed. Quick off to Patterson, saved by Ottinger. 
Ooh, Ottinger was really saving it big out there. I mean, he's not quitting. Stopped it again. Narrow one with the textbook saved by the goaltender. As Pavelski will not have it the airway. Give it over now, find it off to Suter. And now here's Pedersen. Pedersen to Suter for a chance lead. Save here by Ottinger. Stars will play in your own zone. Pavelski. Spreading his way down. Pass over, doesn't matter though. Suda, stopped by Zepko. Under 5.30 left to go in a second. Get it ready to take some time and go for your next face off. As of right now, we congratulate to the winning team for their first time. And they, we finally have a great answer here as the 2024 Stanley Cup champions, Florida Panthers, in game seven with the wild ending of its night. And we really have a hard work of a dedication for for Barkov and the Bumpery Stars. Five eleven to go in the second, and they brought their team up by one. Now when they say the Kirby slap out the amazing takeover. You know that's what happened with that spirit in there. And this one was taking a goal. Great chance second out there. And then when you get the sprint off against the Laverty, that happens to be a save and a quick quick rebound. Takes it all over. Great chance to play for Laverty. And with that rebound, this one is really taken all over by anybody that plays it like that. Here's a chance. Marchman move around. Stopped again here by Demko. The news will not have an airway back to the air one in the star zone. A pass over. Pavelski lost that one. And it's Hughes. We erect it. Pavelski over now finds the airway. And here's a look to Gintz. Gintz lose that one. Pavelski. Love save. Denko's going to stop that puck with 428 to go in the second. Now, they play it like that. Pavelski's been doing really well. But I think that, that Pedersen and Hughes are have a lot of a higher range than that. Denko getting a lot of great saves out there. 41 saves? I think it's going to be more than that. Denko's going to hold that puck and on to the next faceoff. On a better take, here's Heisken. The question for Heisken, I guess, definitely got a great chance. He's playing it really well in forward, but his question is going backwards. Something that you have never expected how you can play it like that is going in reverse. That's why his ability has been playing it like that on defense to have it run. Keeping it moving like he's legit. A chance to little Johnson. Shot scores! Oh man, the back to back one takes it in as White Johnson ties this game up. Nobody has to defend on that because of Johnson got that great goal. Nothing when you say now. The one timer got a really good one to take. When that Johnson had that one slicking in, this winner is making it clear to have that one with the next goal to tie it. Dallas Stars ties this game up as a 4-4 game in the second of the fifth game of the night. As I said a year before, as the Florida Panthers have finally made their accomplish and they have finally won their Stanley Cup. We got another team and since many years have been already been trained and without the Stanley Cup in the finals as the Vegas Golden Knights won last year, they are now this year as they beat the Canadian team of the Edmonton Warriors. And hey, they really love American team. No Canadian fan has to be winning everything. They don't want that, it's America's turn. They make it great, but playing it for eventing hockey doesn't mean anybody what they say. Nobody cares for that. <laughs> Not what I always had to say for it now, but that's what Florida Panthers have been doing. Thanks to Alexander Barkov and their team, and it's all part of the head coach. He has finally got his Stanley Cup to make their win out of to play for anybody. And there's Hyperball. Hagaball lost that one here. No penalty beginning on Vancouver. Here's your warning. 240 left to go in the second. A super bowl of the arrow. They throw it away. Loses that one. That's Marchman with the butt steal. Takes a big hit. He went down. Excuse will not have it again to Garland. Garland spins it around. Off on the pop post there. Pop post into Bersin. This one's off and stopped again by Arnie John. 
Dallas back the other way. Delandria with two minutes left in the corner. Makes a big hit. Now finds Bob Olson. In the middle, save run again by Adam Jerk. The rebound puts in for Blindholm. He now finds Cole. Cole blocks in that shot and scores! Ryan with a big tipper made at the collected end. Now that's what you gotta play for, I'm not it. Now that's all. He made an easier one to get. Guy at the collected end. Now I was not really sure what was gonna happen like that. That's what got Ryan Riley was trying to make it in there. And that's that when this made that one slipping it in. This one was up and deflected and it goes right up towards the net. Passing on his turn, made that one clear. And now that's their extension up by two, it's a 5-4, and they are back in the lead to do it again. And Cole will have an air win. Tries to roll it in, as Ottinger makes some pad stop. And he scores again! Marley with two goals! Oh man, everybody is attacking! They're all over the place! That's why two goals can't just slow you down, because that makes up a great chance after it. The B.I. on a big takeaway. As right now, they're up ahead, and they're ready to do this way again. It's kind of hard, another goal. Looks like he wants to take his hat to the field home. Does he want it? Well, I bet, I bet they might do it. I don't know if he's going to take it in there, but let's hope there is. Smith, stop again by Demko. Great chance on a play effort. Demko covers that puck with two to one ten to go in the second. Now another taking the rebound and they're ready to do the next face off with one ten to go. Here's the next face off win for Lindholm and we're down to a final minute in the second. And he was Smith. Smith lost that one. That's Blue Girl who takes the puck away. Blue Girl lost that one. And Fosca at the airway. Spins around, and this one will be another tip in to take out. Vancouver back the airway to Blue Girl. Canucks spinning his way down to 30 seconds to go. Sudo looking his way over, finding Steele. Make a big down as. He got up to P, well now have it over the arrow. Do steal. Steal back into the head and Fox still will have it. Final seconds to remain. And Bluger will have it to the Purdy and this one will be the it for the second. And a bad stop by Oninger. Two goals up ahead for Vancouver. Trying to let that answer in and Garland to go for three goals. Let's hope the there is. We'll be right back after this. Two down, one to go. Third period, next. And we're off to start for a final of the regulation period in game five. I've been noticing that they've been playing it really well and we're ready to see who takes it. All right, there guys, I have your takes here for the second period recap. Let's see how they take it. Well, playing it real well. That's how she did They made a great wild save to put it up right on the Dallas Stars. They don't really play that often, but that's what they all don't do to keep that one out there at the same time. They were all expecting it now to play it for big or on a re reasonable scores. They don't have it enough out there because they really are trying to like battle it out. They don't really like to take all their effort to try to smash them down. They don't want to get hurt, but they really love taking bucks away. They want to stop, they wanted to get that one going. Yes, I totally agree. I mean, get it going. They really got to keep on playing it like they did. Mark Smith, I did that. Oh, and a stop made here by Tasha Demko. He's an RT. Yeah, and I can have fires that one. We directed it back to Hughes. And then it says the Buck Seal. Nice stop by Demko. Just 18 for you to go in the third. Well, a little bit of a fire gel. I mean, they have to poke up in the puck up really quickly. Now they're going to do the next face off. Just only 18 for you to go. Six to four is the score. 
Not a way to play it in for the McCanucks. That's Hughes. Will not have it over to get the puck Olsen. Gives it off to Gerardo. Gerardo gives it to Gerardo. Short of middle. Saved by Ottinger. And here's Lindholm. Right up across. Kicks the puck out of the zone. But Olsen now finding Hughes. Here's Lindholm. Shot blocked by Heiskanen. Heiskanen pushing his way right to the right wing. And here's Paul Colson. Paul Colson now finds Garland. Garland, right to her right, left wing. Fires it! Another stop by Ottinger. And they're all battling for this puck. Here's Hughes. Rolls that puck out of the zone, and this one will get right back into Friedman. Another takeover. Win all. Shot. Saved by Ottinger. You know, play now happened to, to Ottinger. This one is really like keeping it out of the way. I don't know what's going to happen now, but that just really don't change. Oh, he bats the little ball. Little right toward the left, right wing of the side. And that's stopped by Ottinger. I see him. Now finds him to get him back. Closes out the zone. And Scarlett will now have it over. In toward the left wing. To Andrea, Harley, back to Ben. Ben making his way across in. Toward the back. Can't hold on to the puck as it Ben back to Duchesne. Duchesne shot, one time effort, stopped by Demko. Here's another take. This one lost that one the effort, and it's Heisken in back over again to Andrea. Here's Marchman. Marchman, moving around in now. And a shot stopped by Demko. Nearing the 15 minute mark in the third. 6-4, Vancouver Canucks, been like a hard team to get it through. Now the wing for Duchesne. Lindell, off again, fires it! And a big stop here, Brian comes up by Demko. Cole's pass over now, finding McKay. To the left wing. Fires that shot. Big save by Ottinger. You know, can't just lose it now because if Ottinger made it this one a, a lucky save, this one needs to be clear to get from here. Duchesne. Shot stopped by Demko. Miller finds Cole. And Cole now has it again. Reversal. Right toward the back. Now find Lindell. Lindell finds again to Marchman. Marchman lost that one. And Friedman will have it again on that party. The player, this will be, will have it over now again to Cole. Cole went down. Pavelski. Pulls his way across that line again to Marchman. And Marchman lines again to Hankapod. Now again to Pavelski. Pavelski shoots. Pass stop made here by Demko. You gotta keep control of it by now because it's after Demko. But he had that one with the wrist on the block shot with the save. He made up a, a, a clear vision to have it in there. And he had great wild saves. Gotta play for real if you do. Pavelski. But we're not finding it. Kate for one chance effort. And it's another stopping again by Demko. Kate loses that one. Freeman with the puck steal. Lafari not finding back again to Bloomer. Puck sails out of the zone. And here comes Skates. Novelski, chance and effort. Can't play it for real. Eisen and left saved by Demko. 13.34 left to go in the third. Wild fans, wild parties, they're all are supporting Thatcher Demko. Yes, Thatcher Demko is really like doing really well. I mean, you all got to salute, you got to rise up, you got to play it like you do. Better than the meaning of this. They don't play like that. I mean, they don't want this one to be like it's all bad enough to like try to do on a defender. And they really got to get that one cleaned up and get right toward the end of it. Keep it up. Save up again by Ottinger. And we close it. Great stop again. And out toward the airway. Fossa. Right over now finding High Skinner. High Skinner dumps that puck out. And now he has it over now. Back to the Canucks zone. To Garland. 
chance to play Emperor. Little takes it over. Now here's the chance for Vancouver. 12 30 left to go in the third. Another chance. Save play by Artichok. Smith with another take. Spins it over. The deeper pass to Steele. Okay, now finds it over again. And back to Zenoroff. To Dora, right over into the left wing. Goes his way across. Can't find another way. To Dora. Shoot! Save by Ottinger. 11 30, 56 to go in the third. 6 to 4 to score. And if you haven't just really spotted on, we got our great ones to take over here with a new season. Thanks for our season three effort. We couldn't have appreciate with all about your accomplishment. And we got a great matchups in between. So if you have a voting down, make sure you keep your eyes on here, right in between of the hockey and basketball. This will be the next part of, you know, all of the camp. And they really are really, really excited right now. Keep you up here for you guys. So, the new one part of our draft will be happening here in September. We'll be having December. September. Sorry, July 18th. I suppose we'll be on here. And this one will be on here Saturday as well. Yeah, you can't always say it right now. I mean, I know what they can't really do. But I would say that it is the next matchup. And I guess that they're ready for season four. But what could they figure? I think there might be another way to get through it. Well, I mean, you don't want it. want that, would you? Nope, not at all. <laughs> well, I guess there, I guess there is a nose around here. Anybody knows? Because somebody who might be happy enough to like try to keep it on you. Well, I think that might be only the question out there. I mean, I was really sure enough that they played really nice. I think Quinn Hughes would be playing really well. He's got a step. Oh, well, save Ballinger. What a chance play. Oh man, that was really close. Oh, this is the way he dropped the puck. As right now, we are making our way to our midway market period. Six to four score. That's a little point for the Canucks. This is that one, that's back to Hockey Puck. Hockey Puck right over into the right way. Trying to go for the effort with the shot. Saved up again by Dubco. That's Lindell will not have it. Pass to Marchman. Finds for Velsi. Velsi shoots. Save. Now a take over to Hughes. 948 to go in the third. Marchman. Now a take the scores. Luke Pants. Bringing it back down by one. And they're wanting to have that close game for real. Every game is real. Possibility can't let that one stop you until it's endless. I always know that happened because that one was giving a great one with the take. This one one timer close to the goaltender. I mean, how could you do that way? That's what happens right now. I mean, one time ever can't let that one lose lose it everything. Now we're gonna play it in for a window. Nine for you to go in third. Marshman now finds Vanessa. Vanessa for another take, and this one stop. Jason Marshman now finds Linda. Lindell shot safe play by Rayani. Nope, that's what happens on another tempo. And our take off the net, and it goes back again to Juice. Beyond, right by behind, behind the net. And it's anchor pop. Now finds Hints. Hints right to the middle, and a save puts it in by Dimco. Number two, and Dimco makes a stop. Demko's going to hold that one to the end with 8.48 to go in the throw. Now they're off to do the next face-off. It is now 6-5 game. Vancouver up in the pressure. Now the win. Here's Jilson. He finds the door. He looks at DeGarrisopi. DeGarrisopi right over in the middle. And a save puts it up by Demko. Jilson looks again at the door. Jilson takes that puck back, moves it around in there. Luger trying to recover the puck move. Again, it's a door off, saved by Oninger. 8.13 left to go in the third as they're off to do the next face off. Now they're off to do this one again. 6 to 5 to score. Ready for Patterson. On a shot, this one stays out. Now Fox Johnson. 
Johnson. This is up across. And the shot saved by Demko. Under eight minutes in the third. And man, they are got a lot of crowd already supporting for Demko. They really are trying to stop him down. Yes, I know they do. But they don't really just try to like let that one keep on going in there. I mean, they gotta like try and like keep on going if you can. Maybe it's Robertson now finds again McKay. They have lost that one as Ottinger will now have it again to Lindell and Johnson will have it. 7.30 to go in the third. And it's Cole. Now offered a chance again and this one goes back back to Patterson. Off and now to McKay. McKay shot is blocked. McKay now finds it over and it's Ben. Swinney is Wayne. Near the strawberry of the goaltender. This one stopped. And Paul takes it up. You don't really have to tell what they do, but that is what they are just trying to let them do. They get that one great save for Top Demko for a night. Back to the left wing. Comes to Bucca. Let him off. Back to Hunterdog. The line trio. And this one rolls back the other way. Gets another takeover to Freeman. Scoop up along the board for Dallas as number two. This will be taken over and stopped by Tempo. Six or seven left to go in the third as we're nearing down the end of the third. Yes, I know. It is getting closer right now, but we don't want that one to keep that out. Great soft win. We'll put it up for the Canucks. It's now here's Scott Colson. Six minutes to go in the third. Right over in there. Now he's a chance for Delandria. That is Marshall. Marshall, right over again. And this one has stepped out. He shanks, stuck. And now here's Demko with a bad save. This one will freeze the puck up with 3.56 to go. Now they're ready to do the next face off. 9.36 up to go in the third. Six to five to score. Now with the win. Garland's back here away. Over with a take and Harley will now have it here away. Still Andrea. Keeps that pluck out of here and now he is still Gilman Lamb. I see that shot. Save again by Demko. Under five minutes to go in the third. Time is going down right toward the wire. Looks like early. I see it. And with another chance, save by Kevin on, on with, the, with another Demko stop. And here's Patterson and Jason Robinson with the win. Thanks, guys. I was able to say that Jason Robinson was doing well. Even though you missed it already, but he's got a great career to keep an eye on you. So, you may have it all. And now he finds Bats Mavelski. And it's when he gets stuck. March Vick. Try to get Johnson out of here. And he now has the beginning of the game. Here's Patterson. Here's Marchman. So. Here's your chance out of Johnson. Johnson. This is the effort. Try to watch what can play, and Denver will make another stop. Under nearly a 330 mark, 6-5. Off and set, ready to go. It is a 6-5 game with 3.36 to go. And the women put it in for the Stars as Heinkebrock with a shot blocked. Johnson, off that one. Heinkebrock with the rebound. Finds Ben. Ben gets it off for Lindell. Over and over again to Heinkebrock with the shot and it's blocked. 3.10 to go. Coming down to the end of a regulation period. And Ben will have it again. 
bad. Oh, you're just waiting right into the visitor's bench. That's gonna hurt. I guess if they were really expecting it, they really love the crowd. They love the fans. They really love the key hit. And that's what's happening over there. They don't expect it of what they play for? I mean, that's, a, that's like an ouchie moment. Oh, wow. They played it before? I mean, not really. Here's Sonic the Pop. Two thirds left to go in the third. Go down the back with that smash kit, and Garland will have it again. Back to Linda. Linda on his way down with a quick move. Linda moves it inside, and Linda will have that puck in to grab the puck away. We're nearing down the end of the regulation. Vancouver Canucks still up again, 6 5 over Dallas. Linda, chance for real close again, moves around his throat. Now, Kowalski just made a great, excellent takeover. And this is what this made happen because he made it right around the down. Just behind Jerk, he got a great goal. What a chance he had. And listen to the fans. The Ducks are making its way down to make the win to leave it up here by 3 2. And ready to get this thing moving on back to Dallas to do it again. You know, everybody's been really happy right now. I was really noticing that the MPS team really have been playing so well. Sometimes they don't really just play that often. I mean, they just got out of the way for some reason. Not turning what they're all expecting now. I mean, they got to play it like they did. And as the women put it in, here's a chance now for Cole. And apparently he's on Dallas. Well, you can't do that now. I mean, when you're playing it for like that, I mean, you don't want that to happen. Goaltender comes up. Garland for taking this one stuff. Garland for three. Denies it. Cool. Fires it. Blocker stop made and it's on. Marchman with the interference. Coming down the final minute in the third. Makes it Marchman in the penalty box. Well, power play must be a chance. Could be it. Power play is on in game five right here. And we're going to play it in for Dallas. Dallas will clear the puck out of Fox Hill. We'll have it. Extra skaters coming on as Demko will stop that puck with just one minute left. And Hughes will now have it over to Lindholm. Lindholm going for a win. Finish off the suitor. Off the game. And that's going to do it. Great win for Vancouver as they beat against the Dallas Stars in Game 5. Now that's a power play goal. Win it, take it off. Goodbye, Dallas. Off to Game 6. Ready in that time. You know what I always say right now because they've been playing so well, they are just making that one so easy to make. And that's what they always do because of Lindholm's team. They are making its way down and they are ready to do this one one last time or go to game seven. I can't wait to see where this next game comes up. Yes, me too. They've been playing it so hard right now. I mean, what they've always been doing, it's just not always easy now to keep that in there and they really are expecting to play like that. All happens now, everybody can play anything. Kravelski, Paul Selwyn. And right now, down to 20 seconds for Vancouver. Mikheyev lost the puck. Lindell, deep pass to Kabelski. 15 seconds for the third. Moves around. With the shot. Stopped by Demko. Last chance for Dallas to take it away. Because there's no time left. And it might be all finished right now for game five. And listen to the fans. They are ready for Vancouver to win it again. And Warnick will now have it over. And he's now back to Patterson. And that's going to do it. Vancouver Canucks wins game five. Now back up in the lead. A 3 2 series. Now that's what they all do. Tatcha Temko made it easy to win this fish all. All for the game. It's because we are all Canucks. And yes, they played so well. We salute to them. Why don't we give a salute to that? We appreciate all the support. Can't let that one get away with anybody. And that's gonna do. 
Silver along with Jeff Smith and Terry Cruz and Nicole. This has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup Conference Finals on EA Sports. Thanks for joining with us in, and we'll see you again next time. Have a great night. All right, thank you so much. It's right now time for three star players of the game. Third star goes to Connor Garland with two goals and three kicks. Had that one amazing to take over by Ann and Jerry. He had that one slapping it in. The second star goes to Elias Limbo with one goal, three assists, and two kicks. Had that one coming in there, and this one was a big bang, and he just made that one and wrap it up with the goal. And Tatra Demko is your first star of the night with 79 saves of the game. And here's how you do with the total statistics right in between. 84 over 80 for Dallas for the total shots. And it was 76 over 65 fits for Dallas. And it was 629 over 627 Vancouver with time on attack. A little bit of a close range in between. 93 over 92 to do for passing percentage here for Vancouver. And it played really well to keep that out of the line. Got a little bit of a good correction up here for Boomer, but he will try to keep it on working that as he can. Then we have 35 face-up wins over 33 for Dallas Stars. Two minute penalty kill was on Dallas and a power play goal with the only empty netter with 22 seconds. So about to wrap it up here for game number five and we've got one more. If necessary, we will have this game seven for Dallas against Vancouver. And it'll be at Dallas to keep an eyes on. And that would be said right now. I hope you enjoyed the part of the game and we'll see you all again next time for another conference finals. This is Roy Cruz, and I am also along with Tyler Beast. Peace out, folks, for a while. That's the NHL Stanley Cup Conference Finals on EA Sports Style. We hope we will see you all again very soon for, for the final or second of last game to keep an eye on it. Take care, folks. Have a wonderful evening. Until again. If you don't, Somebody will.